In the previous video, we refactored our signup app here to use signals and components, but we left further refactoring to this next video. Here we are going to go one step further and also refactor our data modification services. Now this is not related to signals, but we are going to convert our observables into promises because it's more familiar for beginners to Angular, especially those who are coming from a background in JavaScript. So let's get started. So first let's look at our services. We have about three services here, auth services, user service, and the image upload service. So let's start with the auth service, which we are, which we are open here. We can see that we have the from function, which we use from RxJS to convert this promise based API to an observable. So let's Let's remove that and when we remove that it's going to say that it's, it's to remove uh, return a promise so we are going to change this observable to a promise the same thing we are going to do with login we're going to do the same here remove this let's remove this because we don't need it anymore uh, and similarly for the logout function grace great so this we have changed and we can now remove all of the imports uh, related to rxjs great uh, the next thing we need to do is to go in our user service now in user service we just have about three functions so this one is we have already converted it. The signal here, as you can see, all we need to do here is now to convert this observable into a promise. And we're just going to return, we're going to remove this from and this here. And that's it. Now let's go to the image. Now the image upload service is a bit more complex, but we can do it easily. So we're going to do this promise using from because we need to do multiple operations in this. So we are going to make this async function. And here we are going to do, since this is a promise, it returns a promise. We are going to use the await syntax here. And this is going to return our upload task or in fact we can change this to call this result and then we can just simply return await get download url and result.ref so you can see how this simplified the code um, um, somewhat uh, by using uh, promises because it's in a natural uh, code path so you can see that we get our result back it's very clear and then we get the reference from the result to get the download url here and when we return it in our promise great so this is done. Now, all we have to do now is to just look at our red marks that we have, and then we just follow along and we change those things. So let's first go into app.component. This is a simple one. Let's uh, do async and let's do await. So we're just going to log out. And after that, we are just going to do router.navigate. Simple. Similarly, let's now go to login. So this is sort of a basic operation that we can clearly see how to refactor this. Basically, what we have to do is we have to add async await and the try catch block. So here, what we're going to do is we see that we were calling this dot all service dot login and then we were using a pipe here. Now, since this is a promise, what we want to do is first we are going to convert to async. Then we are going to use the await syntax. Okay, let's move it to this line now. And then after that, we just have the toast here or rather we can first copy this here. Now this should work in the success case, but obviously we want to also handle the error case. And for that, we need to do a try catch block. So let's shift both of these to the try block. And for the catch block, we need to show the error now. Now before you can see that we had, we were using the ng neat hot toast library. And since we were using RxJS stream, it allowed us to make this code compact. Uh, but with promises, we'll need to split them up into loading success and error. Now, since this will be a lot of common code, we can add a service for it called toast service. Okay. So let's create a new service here. We're going to call this ng gs services and let's call this toast service. Okay. So we have our toast service here. What we need to do here is first of all, that we can just need the toaster, which we can inject. And this would be the hot toast service. Great. And let's make about um, four functions here. So the first one would be show loading. This is going to show our loader. This would be this dot toast dot loading. And here we are going to give an ID here called loading to identify that this was a loader because you need to hide it. Then we'll have a height loading. We're just going to close the indicator with the ID loading. Then we'll show a show success. And this is going to have a custom message because we have a message different for each of them. Or in fact, we also have a message for show loading. So we are going to do this message here and we're going to pass on this message here. Similarly, the same thing we need for this. This would be this dot toast dot success message. And we're going to do same thing for show failure or show error dot error. Okay. So that's all we need. From our toast service let's now uh, try to use this here so include that in our service so we're going to add it to the constructor we can also use the inject function but since we are doing all of the other services in a constructor i am doing it for 
consistency so let's do it reuse this toast one let's call this toast service and for trying this we can do this dot toast dot show loading okay and let's give the message as logging in logging in and then when it's successful it's going to be this dot toast dot success great show success and it's going to give this message logged in successfully and then when there's an error it's going to show the error and it's going to show there was an error like this this dot toast dot error show error this is going to be error dot message we're gonna have to make this into any great so we don't need pipe anymore great so this we did for the submit button and this is gonna work perfectly fine now we're gonna test this but let us also change the other places where it's, uh, with, um, our services are being used so let's go into our or let's we can also do it like that let's go into our sign up first because the sign up is the next one we go in our sign up we'll see the same thing let's do it async let's do this await or sign up but here we are getting some response so we can directly use this response so we are going to this constant user and uid we're getting this from the function from its base function and then after that we are going we are also doing another thing which is this dot user service dot add you and this we are going to do await okay so there are two operations that we are doing here one after one after the other and then we can also change the toast here so we are going to do this toast service again here we are going to do this dot toast dot show loading and the loading one is going to show signing up and you can omit those messages if you think that this is a bit too much and you don't need these messages but if you need it then it's fine similarly let's add a success here show success this will be congrats you're all signed up okay and let's add all of this to a try catch block let's shift both of these try catch block and for the catch error we need to show this we show error and the message would be what we get from the error all right oh yes which reminds me we have missed a thing in login and so we showed the loading here but we did not hide it so in finally which is a part of the try catch block we can actually hide the loading as well otherwise the loading is going to show continuously all right let's just copy this this and let's just do the same thing here this dot toast dot hide loading okay and then after that what we're doing is we are navigating to home so when this is done we're going to navigate to great so we can do this now great so now what we have just have the profile page left so now you get the idea of how to do this so i'm not going to do it myself I'll just, I'm just going to show you the final result of the profile page and you can see that we have the save profile function in the same pattern and then we have the upload file function in the same pattern and you can clearly see the sequence of functions that we are uh, calling here and it's pretty simple for a person who's coming from javascript to look at this and see what is happening okay so now all of this is done and let's test this out yeah so let's test out everything now uh let's test out the sign up process first and let's see it should give an error here rather the email should be here the name should be here password let's see i'm just giving default password here and it said the password should be at least six characters okay so at least it's returning something from the api so this works now for the success case i can probably add maybe just a dummy here and let me add testing testing does it allow me yes so congrats you're all signed up it shows the toast fine it hit the loading messages and when you go into profile i cannot test that out as well Zweb 2 i can say or maybe phone numbers and addresses okay let's save this profile updated successfully let's check it again let's log out let's check the login again so we added the consult one testing logging in logged in successfully and you can now go back to profile now let's check the okay let me select this one and it says that image uploaded successfully great and also updated it here as you can see so this all works fine and let me change this if i change this this should change great so all of this is working fine so summarizing our refactor in this two-part series we converted our rxjs observables wherever we could into signals especially those inside components and we also converted our observables and services into the more familiar promise-based syntax you can check out the complete app and its code on the link above and i'll let you be the judge of whether this refactoring was worth it or not for me personally i find that this is better more readable code especially for beginners but if you're someone well versed in rxjs and observables the original code was also quite sufficient so i hope you like this and i'd invite you to subscribe to my channel for more such content like this Give me a shout out in the comments if you have something to say. Thanks for watching.